Hello, this video is going to cover how you can have a Zapier Zap automatically trigger when a document is updated in JobTrid. And what I mean by that is maybe you want to send a, an email to the client whenever they first sign the proposal. Things like instructions, right? What to expect on the job. Maybe you wanted to send a request for review whenever they pay the final invoice. There's a lot of different use cases and things that you might want to happen. Automations that you might want to set up when a document is approved potentially and this video is going to cover that so we're going to walk through that scenario where you want to send a set of instructions to the client when that proposal is signed but the steps I'm going to show are really similar depending on the different document type that you might be working with so it really all starts though in Zapier so we'll go there create an account if you haven't already and we're going to connect job tread to Gmail in this case and keep in mind, this is what can really be different for, for every Zap, right? What am I connecting to? What system do I want to do something in? Uh, I'm choosing Gmail for the example. So we want to do a trigger based off the job being updated. Excuse me. I meant to say the document being updated. So whenever a document is updated, we want to do this thing over in Gmail. So we want to send the email. So we'll try it. That will bring us into the Zap Builder where we can start to set this up. The first thing I always do is rename it to make sure it makes sense when I'm back on my dashboard. So it's proposal signed. I want to send a instruction list, send instructions. And I'll rename these two steps. Uh, document updated, send instructions. This just helps make it easier to understand when you're looking at it. And we'll start with step one. So first, it's going to ask you to choose an account. If you haven't already authenticated your JobTrade account with Zapier, it's going to ask you for a grant key. Just know you can find that under settings and under integrations, Zapier. Just generate the key and copy it and then paste that into Zapier. This will bring you over to this, though. Just click continue, and then you'll have to choose what organization, in this case, Big Ranch. Continue and then run a test. This is going to search for the last time a document was updated in JobTrend, which may be something that you're completely unaware of. So we definitely recommend going in here into a job and create a test following the workflow that you want to happen. So on this job, I'm going to do this based off a of proposal being signed by the customer. You don't have to actually go send it along. You can just approve it here. And that is really the trigger that I want to start everything. So, so replicate that process, go back into Zapier, and then if you click on where it says document C, load more, and this is gonna pull in the most recent document being updated, which is the one I just did. So let me just confirm, this should be for Casey Foster. And yes, all this looks good, so I'll continue. Now I have the example I wanna work with. But we don't wanna send these instructions, of course, every time that we are uh, updating a document. We only want to do it when the proposal is signed, right? So I'm going to add this step in the middle and I'm going to apply a filter. So I'm going to filter this down and say only continue if blank. And this is the criteria that we have to set. This is really the most complex thing in the whole scenario. And, and because we're walking it together, it should be uh, pretty simple to set up. So we just have to search through the list for what we want. We really only want to do proposals first off. So I'm going to search for the document name. So let's find that document name exactly matches proposal. And we want to make sure the status is approved. And we want to make sure it wasn't approved before, right? We don't want it to send multiple times. We just want to see when it moved from something to that approved status. So let's look for that. Document next status approved. We'll actually go back and probably update this one to say data next status. So now we're looking for data previous status. Does not exactly match approved. So I'm going to update this middle one real quick be data next status just to be sure and so again just to read through this we are saying every time a it's a proposal and the next status meaning what it was just updated to is approved 
and then previous status is um, does not exactly match the proof. That's just a check just to make sure it's only going to send that first time it becomes a proof. So if I continue from here, it's going to tell me if I was successful. And yes, in this example I pulled from the first one, the ZAP would have continued because that was a signed proposal, right? It became approved. If this was an invoice that was collected, it would have failed. If it was a bid request, it would have failed. Um, so it's only continuing in those certain circumstances now. So now it's just a matter of customizing the trigger side, which again can be very different based off what you're doing. I'm sending an email in here, so I'm gonna say, who do I wanna send it to? The email's gonna come through, so just click on it. Then you can enter everything from who it's sending from. I'll send it from myself. Um, from name, you can even customize the name. These fields here are specific to Gmail, right? So it's gonna be very different system to system. Subject, um, congratulations. We're happy to be working with you. And then of course the body of the email, this is where you'd put all the fun stuff. And you have a lot more um, things you can enter on this one. I'm gonna continue just so we can run the test. But when you run the test, this is actually gonna process an email uh, off to this person. So it's sent, it says it was successful, and, and now it's just a matter of publishing. So when you click that button, it's gonna turn it on. And if you go back to your dashboard, you'll see all of the zaps you have enabled and which ones are turned off. So if you ever need to temporarily turn off something, you can just click this button right here and that will do it. So that is how you can set up a, a, a zap to run anytime a document is updated in JobTread. The filter part of it allows us to specify exactly when that should happen. Um, but those are the basics of how you do it. If you have any questions about that, please let us know. Uh, support at JobTread.com. Thank you so much.